Many East Texas schools have planned alternative graduation ceremonies to send off their seniors, but now there are new rules. CBS 19's Matt Lackert spoke with schools to find out how the Texas Education Agency's guidelines will change graduation plans again. Schools across East Texas have different plans for graduation and guidelines from the Texas Education Agency or TEA affects every school district differently. Tyler ISD Superintendent Marty Crawford says TEA's announcement caused them to pivot from their original plan. Yesterday's uh, announcement of June 1st as being the opportunity for suburban and urban school systems to actually conduct their outdoor graduations, that actually kicked us over to plan B. Communication specialist for Longview ISD Elizabeth Ross says they have a plan for individual ceremonies and a formal gathering at Lobo Field. They think this falls with NTEA's guidelines, but are holding a meeting tomorrow to make sure. We wanted to make sure that we were giving people options for their comfort level. TEA is giving four different options for school districts to hold graduation ceremonies. The first is a completely virtual graduation. Next, a hybrid ceremony that's made up of videos and meeting in small groups. Schools can also choose a vehicle ceremony where students and families wait in their cars while graduates are recognized one at a time, or finally, outdoor ceremonies. The one stipulation with outdoor ceremonies is it can't take place until June 1st unless you live in a rural county. If you are in a rural county, outdoor ceremonies can begin May 15th. It's a big victory for them and for our school system and school systems across the state of Texas to be able to get these kids uh, graduated in some form or fashion. Even though it's not the graduation that many pictured, both Tyler ISD and Longview ISD support the rules TEA announced. We've got you covered, East Texas. Matt Lackritz, CBS 19. As we mentioned, there are quite a few schools that are affected by these guidelines, so head over to our website, cbs19.tv, to find out how your school district plans to handle graduation.